URI basketball has a rich tradition that dates back to 1903, 1,560 victories, 15 conference championships, 10 NCAA tournament appearances. Coach Keeney of Rhode Island probably did more than any other coach to transform basketball into a running game, emphasizing a speed and stamina game. It was Keeney who originated the fast break, which revolutionized the game of basketball as much as the forward pass changed football. Keeney did more than do away with the traditional pattern of offense and zone defense. The fast break also obliged his players to abandon the two-handed shot. We had to shoot one-handed on the run, Calverly recalls. He used to say, hey, if the music plays faster, you dance faster. Both Frank Keeney and Calverly are hanging in the rafters at the Ryan Center as they should be. What they did in the 1940s revolutionized the game of basketball. The only issue is, no one from the men's basketball program has been honored with their name in the rafters since. No one in the rafters since. Now you might ask, what about Carlton Silk Owens, the all-time leading scorer in URI history, a record that has not been challenged since his illustrious career came to an end in 1988. The Carlton Owens that transformed the URI program and led them to the Sweet 16 with victories over Missouri and Syracuse. But what about Tom Garrick, the local kid that played for West Warwick and got a last-minute scholarship offer from Coach Malone to play for URI, the same Tom Garrick that put defenders on skates, and scored over 25 points in both 88 NCAA tournament games? The same player that was selected by the Clippers in the second round? What are the odds, Wes Warwick to URI to the NBA? Now certainly Mr. Block Party is in the rafters. Kenny Green was the best sixth man in the 1988 season in the country. He's also the all-time block leader in URI history. Ninth all-time in points, fifth in field goal percentage, fourth in total rebounds, fourth in true shooting percentage. None of these three are hanging from the rafters. Now I know you will want to go to Wheeler and Mobley, and trust me, so do I. But the problem is we can't even discuss them yet because of the disservice that has been done to those before them. This is not an anti-URI basketball commentary. I love URI basketball. There are those out there that complain about the program, yet they don't show up to the games. This is not about replays. This is not about the AD, Wi-Fi, billboards on 95. This is about respecting those that have built this program. This is about honor and respect. Now, many of you, along with the administration, might argue, how do we decide who goes first? It does not matter. Once one goes up, others will follow. And based on my conversations with URI greats, the first choice is obvious. Carlton Silk Owens. <laughs>